Well, they're both temporarily off the job, Alicia, on unpaid leave as an internal investigation is underway. Now, the most recent member of the Detroit Fire Department to be accused of being under the influence and crashing while on a run is a captain and also acting as an, uh, an acting chief right here at this firehouse on 2nd Avenue. The fire commissioner telling Action News this will be investigated and dealt with. The driver was arrested last night. Detroit Fire Commissioner Eric Jones is talking about one of his own, a captain accused of drinking and driving yesterday when he crashed into a fence, almost entering the freeway at Milwaukee in the Lodge, all while reportedly responding to a run. We are starting our disciplinary process. He has been also suspended and we're gonna move forward the penalty for consuming alcohol on duty as termination. This isn't the first time the department has dealt with this. A week ago, another firefighter is accused of hitting an empty car, also while at work and allegedly under the influence. We respond to runs where people have consumed alcohol and have been involved in fatal accidents. We know better. We're going to do better. No criminal charges have been filed in either case at this point. Jones is expected to lay out in further detail how the department plans to address these incidents at a policy level during a press conference today. The Detroit Firefighters Association will also be there. The vast majority of the department that come in every day, place themselves in jeopardy to save lives and property. Those are the men and women that we need to celebrate. That was a reminder from the fire commissioner that these two incidents do not reflect the department's values. It's not clear at this point in time when exactly that press conference is going to be. However, we do expect it to happen at some point today. We, of course, will bring you the very latest both on the air and online at WXYZ.com. Reporting live this morning in Midtown, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.